I bet you've seen many of these amazing looking house tours on social media. Today, we're gonna go over all the essentials and some pro tips you'll need to make one yourself. Keep watching. Hey everybody, it's Caleb here from Wondershare Filmora, here to empower your inner video creator. Have you ever indulged in watching a captivating house tour video on social media? Do you want to know how to make your property look amazing? So if you're into real estate, we've got some tips to share with you. Before we start, let's go over some of the essential gear we're bringing. First, we have our camera that can shoot at 60 FPS. We'll need the higher frame rate to do slow motion speed ramping when we edit later. Heading over to lenses, we're gonna bring a wide angle lens. You'd want to use a wide angle lens to make the rooms look bigger and get more of it in the frame. We are also bringing a telephoto lens for some detailed shots, but that's for later. We're using an ND filter that helps us limit the intensity of the light that's coming through the lens. So by reducing the intensity of the light that comes through these windows, it gives us a more balanced and pleasant shot. When shooting real estate videos, lighting is paramount. The color temperature of the lights can make or break a shot, so don't forget to set the white balance manually for each room. Consistency is key for creating a visually pleasing video. You can try using a log profile like S-Log if your camera has that option. Now it's time to go over the Ninja Walk. To make our shots seamless and smooth, we're gonna be using a gimbal. This will allow us to get slow and controlled movements that will actually let people feel like they're moving through the property. You don't have to be a ninja, but adding a smooth ninja-like movement while handling the gimbal could add an extra layer of fluidity. Hold your gimbal firmly with both hands and keep your knees slightly bent for stability. Initiate a slow and controlled walking motion, transferring your weight from one foot to the other. This will create a seamless glide, allowing you to capture the space effortlessly. Give it a few tries and you'll be ready to film. Before we start rolling, take a stroll through the house and identify any of the features that you want to showcase in your video. This will help you create a captivating narrative and keep your viewers engaged. So for our go-to shot list, we have a couple essential shots. We got a push in, push out, crane shots, and some detail shots. All these shots have a unique purpose for showing off different features of the house. We're gonna be using a pretty wide lens for all of the shots other than the detail ones. First up, the crane shot. This would usually be used at the beginning or end of the video to show off the exterior of the house. So we're gonna start with the gimbal up in the air and lower it down while we move backwards. To reveal the house. The push in. This move creates a sense of anticipation and puts your viewer's attention towards a specific detail. Slowly move forward with your gimbal, revealing the beauty of the space. Pro tip, find a corner or a wall, stay up against it. That way you can get as much of the room in the shot as possible. Now let's try the pull out. This move works best when you want to showcase the entire room or transition between spaces. Gradually move backwards with your gimbal, revealing the grandeur of the space. Last, but certainly not least, we have the detail shot. The cherry on top of the sundae. This shot is all about capturing the unique and special aspects of the place. And for those detailed shots, a telephoto lens will do the trick. Here's where you can use objects in the room to add some character and break the monotony of the other shots. You can try out a slow pan shot where you slowly pan through the intricate details in the room. Once the filming's complete, you can do a few more cool things in editing to elevate your video even more. Let's take our footage into Filmora and get right into it. If you haven't already, you can download Filmora 12 at filmora.wondershare.com or at the link in the description. We're gonna add some speed ramping to our video. To do so, double click on the clip and go to the speed panel. Here you can create a custom speed ramp by adding anchor points. With this, you can enhance the overall viewing experience and add a sense of excitement and intrigue. 
Speed ramping allows you to highlight specific moments or details in your house tour. By slowing down the playback speed, you can draw attention to key features, architectural elements, or unique selling points of the property. You can also create seamless transitions between shots. By gradually changing the playback speed, you can smoothly transition between different rooms or highlight the flow and layout of the property. Now armed with these camera tips and gimbal moves, you have a whole toolkit to create captivating and cinematic house tours. Remember to experiment and have fun with it. Thanks for watching. What other filming guides would you like to see? Please let us know in the comments below. Don't forget to like and subscribe for new videos on the channel. Keep creating and I'll see you next time.